Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have my 2001 Camry again and a brand new Kenwood radio. This is the DPX 505 BT. It has Bluetooth, CD player, and I think it has like Alexa and wireless calling and stuff. So we're going to be showing you guys how to hook this up to my Camry. Uh, so let's, let's go through what you need. Uh, all right, so for the supplies you need, you're going to need a screwdriver just as like basically your only tool and then some sort of uh, pry bar uh, to get some like a piece of plastic piece off. You are going to need this uh, kind of a harness adapter if you don't want to ruin your OEM harness. Uh, so that is this side of the harness. This plugs into your OEM uh, like radio harness like in the car so you don't have to cut anything. And then this is the harness that comes with the Kenwood. So this is the 2000 to 2007 Toyota Lexus amplifier integration harness. Uh, it's from Metra, Met, yeah, Metra, uh, part number 70-813, or 8113. So this has a bunch of different connectors. It's basically everything from your stock harness. So you have these four for the uh, speakers. I think these are the four. It actually lists everything on the back, so these are the back speakers and these are the front speakers. You have uh, orange is, I think, power antenna, and this is illumination. That's for like different models of cars. So for us, we're just going to be using the two grounds on the Toyota side, have to go to the ground on the Kenwood side, and then just red to red yellow to yellow, and then blue with white stripe to blue with white stripe. I just used uh, some butt connectors, I crimped them, and then uh, heated them up so they kind of sealed. So this is all good to go. And then you just have have your uh, Kenwood head unit on the back. It kind of shows, like this is where it plugs in. This is like, if you have a mic, this is where I think like, um, some other stuff like uh, antenna goes and then these are your, your speakers and they, these two down here are for are for like uh, if you have a sub or something so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the car and I'll show you how uh, we get started all right so when you come into the inside uh, if you look down here we have the, the radio head unit and the AC system so the first step is you're gonna have to remove this bezel uh, that goes all the way around um, so to do that the first step is you're gonna put your key in and you're turning to accessory with your foot off of the brake. And then you're going to press on the brake and pull this all the way down to low to get it out of the way. And then you'll take your ashtray out. You should push this, it comes all the way out. And that'll give you a little bit of a handle to start unclipping it. Now you gotta be really careful with these because it is 2000s Toyota plastic and it will break All right, I actually got it out without breaking any clips awesome, but down here you also have the little cigarette lighter It's got a little connector there and it also has this power connector back here. So it's not just a twist and pull. I thought it was, but I can't can't seem to tell. Where did I put that little pry bar? Did that fall between the There we go. Oh, so that's for the cigarette lighters off. You know what? We're just gonna unscrew the, this ashtray all together. The top part of the ashtray, these two little Phillips up here.
great. So we'll just put this off to the side. And then up here, you just have these 10 mil, mil, mil bolts. I thought those were Phillips for some reason. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these 10, or these two, or four 10 mil bolts right here. And we'll come back with the uh, radio pulled out. All right, so we uh, removed those four 10 millimeter bolts and we got the radio pulled out. Uh, so if you flip it over, you should have these two little antenna pieces right here. And then you have this connector. So now it is out. Uh, we can go ahead and transfer over these two plates over onto the new radio and uh, we'll be back um, reinstalling it. All right guys, so we took out the original radio uh, had it all unplugged. We have the new head unit here. We switched over um, these brackets. They actually have little alignment pins, so they only fit in one way. Um, we did have to switch out the upper screws for these more low profile pan head screws because it kind of is a little tight getting in. Um, we have the OEM harness plugged into the adapter. And then we're just gonna go ahead and plug in the, the Kenwood side. Okay, and then we have these connectors. So these green ones are go on top because they're the rears. <laughs> and then I think it's white. And then this one. Should have everything going the right right way. And then we got the, this one, so it should just be. And then this small uh, antenna connector is not going to really go anywhere, so we're just going to leave that. And we're all just going to just tuck all this back in here. So. Did you want to try playing something? Before, uh, screw back in. Yeah, I'm just putting it in place, make sure it all fits. Oh, okay. I'm so glad that this worked. <laughs> you don't see that in the video. <laughs> well, if you guys have been watching our channel for a while, you'd know that I have an IS300 that I put a radio in and never got it working. So this is a really big win for me. Uh, so it's all <laughs> it's all in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and bolt it back down. Uh, we're not playing any more music just because we don't want to get like striked. You imagine we get striked just in like two seconds. And... I would not be surprised. So, and that was like I'm pretty sure Ed Sheeran told me like there was some other pop song. It's just like budget. it's just like whatever those. Oh, shit. Uh, it's just one of one of those like random demos like channels because I don't listen to Ed Sheeran. Well, no, but whatever. Radio station. Yeah, whatever. And this does have Sirius XM capabilities along with like regular radio and Bluetooth and CD. down here and aux and uh, USB. And then up here you have a CD, CD player. So the only thing you're going to be missing out on uh, compared to your old radio is it's not going to have a cassette. But we don't live in 1994, so it doesn't really matter. God damn it. Keep dropping it. So yeah, you are probably going to have to upgrade your music collection from cassettes to maybe CDs or like MP3 files. Yeah, or just get Spotify, like a, <laughs> like a real person. Alrighty, so we're just going to go ahead and put in the bezel. So we're going to add, we're going to put that upper tray of the, of the ashtray thing back in. It's got two screws. Go over these ones. Two little coarse screws. Oh, 
colors, y'all. Such an awkward working position. Sorry about this, guys. Probably didn't even need to remove the uh, bezel from the. Yeah, but it just it was a little easier to get it out of the way. We have another video uh, from probably three or four years ago where we removed the radio from a '99 Camry called "Salvaging a Radio" or something. Um, and I think we just kept the bezel on for that. So. Okay, and then we'll get the cigarette lighter plugged back in. And then that just gets all slid back in there. Should fit around. Kind of snug fit. There we go. And then we got the uh, ashtray. And we're done. So uh, yeah, it's all working. It's all in there. Just have your little power button down here. Yeah, but it's, it's working. You, you guys heard it earlier. Uh, I got to do some little figuring out, but that's how you install radio uh, or Kenwood DPX 505 BT in a 2001 Camry with the JBL audio. Um, thank you guys for watching. We have a bunch of other videos on this car and other cars. Uh, please go watch those. Uh, and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.